Hello, listeners. Welcome to The No Brainer, where we dive into some of the most intriguing stories from the past. I'm your host, ZT, and today we have a fantastic tale to share with you. We're going to explore the fascinating story of the SS Politician, a ship whose journey turned into a legendary event. So sit back, relax, and let's set sail into this remarkable piece of history. Our story begins in the early 1940s during the height of World War II. The SS Politician was a cargo ship, part of the British Merchant Navy, and it was on a journey from Liverpool to Jamaica and New Orleans. On February 5, 1941, the ship encountered a fierce storm off the coast of Scotland near the Outer Hebrides. Despite the crew's best efforts, the ship ran aground near the island of Erske. Now, you might be wondering, why is this ship so special? Ships run aground from time to time, right? Well, the SS Politician was carrying something very precious, a cargo of 260,000 bottles of whiskey. That's right, folks, whiskey. And not just any whiskey, but high-quality scotch whiskey. When the locals of Erske discovered the shipwreck and its valuable cargo, they saw an opportunity. You see, during World War II, whiskey was in short supply due to rationing, so this shipwreck was like a gift from the sea. The islanders quickly organized salvage operations, and soon, boats were heading out to the SS politician to retrieve as many bottles of whiskey as possible. The islanders saw this as a way to brighten their spirits during the tough times of war. They managed to salvage thousands of bottles before the authorities got wind of what was happening. The British government, however, was not pleased. They considered the whiskey to be part of the war effort and, therefore, government property. What followed was a series of events that have since become the stuff of legend. Customs and Customs and excise officials were dispatched to Ariscade to recover the whiskey and put an end to the salvaging. But the islanders, with their intimate knowledge of the local terrain, hid the whiskey in all sorts of ingenious places, under floorboards, in barns, and even buried in the sand. The story doesn't end there. Several islanders were eventually caught and brought to trial for theft. However, the local community supported them fiercely, seeing their actions as justified. The trials drew significant attention and even led to a broader debate about the harshness of wartime rationing and the resilience of local communities. This entire episode was later immortalized in the book Whiskey Galore by Compton Mackenzie, published in 1947. Mackenzie himself lived on the island of Barra, not far from Eriske, and he was inspired by the events surrounding the SS politician. The book was a hit and was adapted into a popular film in 1945, bringing this incredible story to an even wider audience. Since then, the wreck of the SS politician has continued to captivate imaginations. Scuba divers have made several attempts to retrieve more whiskey from the wreck. In 1987, a diver discovered eight bottles which later sold at auction for 4,000 pounds. Two years later, a large-scale operation involving 500 people managed to recover 24 additional bottles. These unopened bottles had become prized collector's items. In a recent auction, a single bottle fetched an astonishing 12,050 pounds, or nearly $16,000. Today, the story of the SS politician is remembered fondly. The ship itself, though long gone, remains a symbol of ingenuity and the unbreakable spirit of the islanders, who turned a shipwreck into a legendary event. That's it for today's episode of The No-Brainer. I hope you enjoyed your dive into the fascinating story of the SS politician. If you did... Please subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and follow if you're listening to the podcast. Also, leave a comment or review. Your support helps us bring more amazing stories to life. Thank you for listening, and until next time, keep exploring the past.